Lafreniere. He flips it ahead and moves around Raymond. And Raymond stays with him. Lafreniere pokes it ahead. Still has it. Rolling punch. Lafreniere works in. Shoots it. What a goal! Maxi Lafreniere! A superstar in the making! Hello everyone, I'm Andy Liu from NHL Draft Central and today we'll take a closer look at 2020 NHL top prospect Alexis Lafreniere. Leading the way of what seems to be one of the most promising draft class ever, Lafreniere is a smart and complete offensive juggernaut. He's able to dictate the pace of the play thanks to his tremendous awareness and versatile skill set. The 6 foot 1 left winger has had an incredible journey these past 3 years as he gained attention from scouts all around the world. After an impressive season in Midget Triple A, posting 83 points in 36 games for Saint Eustache, he was the talk of the town in Quebec. Seen as the best prospect coming out of Midget since Sidney Crosby, Lafreniere was drafted first overall in the 2017 QMJHL draft by the Rimouski Oceanic, notably ahead of 2019 NHL draft first rounder Samuel Poulain and Jacques Pelletier. Lafreniere had an immediate impact for Rimouski as he took the league by storm in his debut season with 42 goals and 80 points in only 60 games, which rightfully earned him the QMJHL and CHL Rookie of the Year award. He then posted excellent performances at the U18 level, leading the Canadian team in scoring at both the U18 Worlds and at the Linka Gretzky as the youngest player on the lineup. His tremendous work internationally helped him crack the Canadian World Juniors lineup a few months later, where he had a few great flashes in a limited role. This past season, Lafreniere posted 37 goals and 105 points in 61 games, which earned him the QNJHL and CHL Player of the Year award as a 17 years old, a feat only a few have achieved. So without a doubt, Lafreniere has had success at every level. But what makes him such a great player? Well, let's look at every aspect of his game, starting from the top. Lafreniere is the smartest prospect I ever seen. He showcases his on-ice intelligence every shift as he breaks down defenses and makes incredible decisions like it's nothing. He constantly analyzes his opposition and he processes information quicker than anybody else. Lafreniere plays like a quarterback on offense, showing the ability to make defenders look foolish and pick apart defenses with his excellent read and creativity. He is always two steps ahead of his opponent as he is able to anticipate plays with his excellent offensive instincts and vision. He is constantly aware of his teammates positioning too, which really helps him quicken his decision making. On this play for example, as he cuts to the open space, Lafreniere knows a teammate is trailing behind. He fakes the shot with a big wind-up and sets up his partner for the finish. A perfect display of how his offensive instincts can make him more deceptive and unpredictable. His offensive awareness also allows him to open the play seamlessly with simple but accurate no-look passes. Many times, he seems to already know where he'll pass before even getting control of the disc as he collected the information needed beforehand. This play is a perfect example of it. Since he already knows his teammate is right in front of him, he reacts quickly as soon as he's gifted the puck to hit him up with a great scoring chance, something only possible because of his excellent anticipation. Lafreniere is also incredibly deceptive with the puck which keeps the opposition guessing at all times. Whether it's off the rush or on the cycle, he displays the ability to stay unpredictable thanks to his complete awareness of the situation and quick decision making. He is able to make the opposition think he's going for a shot and just feed his line mate with an incredible scoring chance, while his opponent are left faced by his move. These are common plays for Lafreniere, which helps him take control of the game. On this action, for example, as Lafreniere receives the puck on the low circle, he looks at this option. With opponents covering the passing lanes in front, he turns his hips to sell a pass to the point. This small hesitation tricks the defenseman who leaves his stick from the ice, giving Lafreniere just enough space to find his partner in the slot. A small detail that led to a great scoring chance. This 2v1 also displays perfectly his deceptivity. As he approaches the net, he fakes a shot and sells the pass to create an opening for his shot. 
Here's another place showcasing this ability. He sells a pass to the slot facing both defensemen and quickly finds his partner aside. His ability to keep his opponent at his mercy opens up a realm of possibilities for him offensively. From the point or off the rush, he can really take control of the action. Lafreniere is very creative with the puck and he finds plays no one else would. I'm always amazed by some of the plays he's able to pull off. On this action, Lafreniere quickly finds his partner rushing up the ice. He decides to throw a pass off the end board, knowing his line mate has a chance to beat his man. A creative play that was almost rewarded. It's one thing to be deceptive and creative, but Lafreniere also seems to always make the right play at the right time. Thanks to his great anticipation and awareness, he's able to collect and process information quickly, which leads to great decision with the puck. Although he loves to jump on the offense, he never hesitates to set back on his defensemen to help his team keep possession of the disc. He loves to make safe passes that helps the play progress in the offensive zone or open the play to keep the action moving and overwhelm the opposition. If a teammate is in a better position, he'll always set him up. Sometimes, very small passes can make a difference and Lafreniere is quick to recognize the best play possible. He rarely loses the puck as he always looks for safe but progressive plays. He also uses his line mates to his advantage to free himself and create space for his shot. On this action, Lafreniere is at the point and while many would go for a hard shot to the net, he chooses to feed the puck to his partner aside of the crease for an easy tap-in. A perfect example of his great decision making and creativity. Lafreniere displays great poise and patience in possession of the disc. He stays calm under pressure, which allows him to make the best play possible as quickly. Like every great, he's able to control the pace of the play and drive the offense. He's able to adapt to multiple roles and positions at all times. He sometimes takes himself out of the game with bad penalties, but that is not much of a concern in my opinion. Reality is, Lafreniere is a smart test prospect eligible for the 2020 NHL Draft. His decision making, deceptivity, anticipation, creativity and play under pressure are all elite. Lafreniere is honestly one of the best playmakers of the draft. He has a tremendous vision and is able to find his teammates up the ice with so much ease. I can't recall seeing a prospect with the ability to identify open players as well and as quickly as him. If there's an open man in this slot, you bet he'll find him pretty quickly. He always has the head up to find new passing lane and he reads the play very quickly. He can create scoring chances and open the play seamlessly as he only need a quick look over his shoulder to find his target. Combined with his offensive instincts, Lavrenia's vision is deadly as he can detect teammates in a matter of instant. Taking this play for instance, thanks to his incredible vision, Lafreniere finds his line mate rushing to the net immediately and makes a perfect pass for the easy tap-in. Around this action, Lafreniere just takes a quick look at the slot and is able to find his man with an excellent feed. I just cannot stress enough how amazing his ability to spot open player is. Lafreniere's passing abilities are also elite. Whether it's from his backhand or forehand, his passes are always hard and accurate. That makes him dangerous from anywhere up the ice, as he can hit his men in transition, dish the puck at the perfect spot of the rush, or make an excellent cross ice setup in the attacking zone. He constantly gets it right on the tape too, helping his teammate to get quicker shots on net. Seeing how great of a playmaker Lafreniere truly is, Rimouski now uses him at the point on the power play where he can dictate the action and control the play. That's a role I could see him take at the next level, as he's simply a natural playmaker. He's adept at distributing the puck and his setup is ally with impeccable passes. He's pretty versatile too, as he can start the play from the back end and finish it up front with just pro level passes all the way up. His excellent passing abilities also help him open the play and get out of trouble at times, polishing his game even further. His playmaking is one aspect of his game that he truly improved over the past two seasons. As he gained more confidence in his abilities, his maturity, poise and calmness with the puck helped him find better passing lane and make more efficient passes. It helped him get more involved in the action in all three zones, 
quickly becoming the driver on his line. I could go on and on about his playmaking, but the point is simple. Thanks to his incredible vision and passing abilities, Lafreniere has the potential to become one of the best playmakers in the NHL. Lafreniere is simply a natural goal scorer. He is a constant scoring threat from anywhere up the ice and he has a tremendous scoring touch around the net. Most of his goals come from his already pro level release. Honestly, if he doesn't have the best release of the draft, it's certainly up there, cause it's a really quick one. His puck delivery is smooth, effortless and very brisk, making him a real danger in the offensive zone. He can get his dangerous shot off promptly, meaning goaltenders rarely get a good look at it and he doesn't need a whole lot of space to get a decent shot on net. Lafreniere surprises a lot of goaltenders with how quick his puck delivery really is. He's also excellent in tight areas where his quick hands helps him find space for his release. His snapshot is one of the best I've seen in recent years and that allows him to be the target of many cross-ice passes, whether it's on the cycle or off an unmanned rush. Quick puck movements from his teammates allows him to capitalize pretty easily off the rush without even giving the opposition a chance. I find that it's on the cycle that Lafreniere can truly exploit his shooting skills. He loves to get in the slot where he can get a quick and deadly shot quickly and bury rebounds around the net. He can also strike on breakaways pretty comfortably thanks to his lightning quick release. Lafreniere also has a very precise and accurate wrist shot. He doesn't give much to goalies and forces them to make a save every time. He loves to keep his head up and find holes to aim at. That said, like every great goal scorer, Lafreniere has the ability to hit his spot at all time, even with his head down or from a tough spot. He doesn't need much to capitalize and can get a precise shot off with a simple touch. His great accuracy also helps him get a decent look from very tough angle, where he loves to challenge goaltender by shooting just over their shoulder. He's a dangerous shooter and one to fright from every angle. Although Lafreniere doesn't really have a slap shot in his arsenal, he can still be very efficient from the point. He has a powerful wrist shot that he loves to use from the top of the circles on the power play when he gets a good look. Using defensemen and teammates as screens, he's able to fool goaltenders from pretty up high. His shot power allows him to not only be a playmaking threat from the point, but also a scoring danger. This constant dual threat opens up a lot of options and he can really exploit what is given to him. He displays every game incredible shooting versatility. He can get dangerous scoring chances with various types of shots and he finishes the job himself from anywhere up the ice. He's able to score from the point with a powerful wrister, get a quick snapshot off from the slot, put the puck in the back of the net with a great shot on reception of the rush or simply finish the job near the crease. His backhand shot is very quick and effective too, and he never hesitates to use it. His finishing skills are also excellent, and he loves to jump on rebounds in the crease to try and find the back of the net. He has what you would call a scoring touch. Everything he touches somehow finds his way through. So Lafreniere has the potential to become a terrific goal scorer at the next level. His incredible release and great all-around tools helps him get a good look every shift. Lafreniere is a skilled and talented winger, showing the ability to dig out opponents and create space for his shot with his tremendous puck skills. He on some very quick shifty mids, allowing him to blaze through poke check and escape pressure. He can split the defense and dance through the opposition effortlessly with quick, creative moves. He dodges opponent with such dexterity, helping him find skating lines and create controls on entries. He reads the defense and adapts his move in consequences, making him very efficient. He's able to pull out pretty impressive moves without any difficulties allowing him to be even more deceptive offensively. His stick handling abilities helps him get out of tough situations along the board and create space and traffic to get a clean look for his shot. He's very quick and dangerous given space and time too. Lafreniere also protects his puck very well. He isolates the disc from the action, helping him keep the complete control of the puck through traffic. Defenders 
have a very hard time knocking the puck off of him, as he always keeps his body in the way to shield the disc from anyone. His puck protection really helps him in zone entries where he loves to fly on the wing. Lafreniere is an excellent puck handler, allowing him to be a much more dangerous threat in traffic and off the rush. Lafreniere is currently 6 foot 1 and 192 pounds, according to Elite Prospect, and he uses that frame very effectively. He brings a physical presence along the board, really helping him protect his puck and get opponents off his back without any difficulties. He is very tough to knock off the puck, displaying the ability to absorb it with his great upper body strength and great balance. He gets around traffic with ease as he shields the puck and keeps moving his feet. He does a pretty decent job in corners, winning most of his board battles with his decent strength and great stick work. He uses his smarts to get the best out of his opponent. He has a great conditioning too, showing great stamina and durability to stay active all game and take hits without any problem. Lafreniere can be a pretty vicious hitter when he gets a good look, as he brings his good strength and intensity to finish his checks. That said, his timing is not always right, and he can miss his opponent quite often. Lafreniere is a decent defensive player. He reads and anticipates plays very well. He uses his stick effectively to block shooting and passing lanes, and he stays in position covering the point most of the time. He adapts to plays when needed, getting down low to help his teammate or jumping in board battles. When he wants, he's an excellent backchecker, putting effort to catch opponent and take away his chances with great stick lifts. He can make some pretty clutch backchecks to stop what would be a breakaway otherwise. Not the best, nor the worst defender. Lafreniere is steady when needed, but is definitely more of an offensive forward. Probably his most well-known flaw, Lafreniere has been often criticized for his lack of quickness, explosion and high end speed. And that is a pretty fair criticism. Lafreniere is not a bad skater, but he's definitely not at the level you would expect a first overall pick to be. Honestly, Lafreniere has taken big steps in his skating since last season. He has drastically improved his top speed, now being able to pass defensemen on the outside and win loose puck battles with just simple straight speed. He can create many controls on entries and is much more dangerous in transition, being able to step for a breakaway or rush at any time. He still won't blow past anyone, but his top speed is just fine enough. Lafreniere though still has to work on his explosion. His first few steps sometimes feels a bit slow and he has difficulties getting rid of an opponent on his back. His acceleration and quickness simply needs more work, which I'm sure will be a focus for him this season. It's definitely not a deal breaker, but something he will need to adjust as he prepares himself to make the jump to the big league. That said, Lafreniere has some pretty impressive mobility. His agility is excellent, showing the ability to make quick direction changes to dodge opponent and create controls on entries. His turns are quick, helping him escape pressure and create space for himself. He has some decent edge work and lateral mobility too. His stride is smooth and very efficient, meaning once put more power, he has the potential to become an above average skater. Lafreniere's main weakness this past season was by far his competitiveness. In most KMJHL games, he completely lacked intensity and compete, gliding around the ice while his team did the work. He was rarely taking any active part on the breakout, neither was he backchecking or forechecking, making him invisible for major parts of the game, sometimes even for complete periods. Despite all that, I still agree with many that his compete level will not be a weakness moving forward and even a potential strength at the pro level. His problem this past season was more a question of consistency than anything. In important games, especially in international play, he was always one of the hardest workers on the team, leaving everything on the ice every shift. He simply failed to keep the same level of intensity every night, and I can't really blame him for it at the moment. I will keep a close eye on this issue this upcoming season, but for now, let's talk about his compete level when he's at his best. 
and at his best, Lafreniere is a first competitor that will put everything on the line to make a play. He has a tremendous coming drive and he's ready to do anything put the puck in the back of the net, jumping on every rebound and getting into dirty areas to recover the position of the disc. He loves to put constant pressure on his opponent, allowing him to create many turnovers. He plays with the same intensity with and without the puck, putting constant effort to recover the puck. He also takes an active part in every breakout and zone entries. So like I said previously, I have no doubt Lafreniere is a hard worker, he just needs to be more consistent, something he could easily fix this upcoming season, but for now, I will keep a conservative rating in this case. So overall, Lafreniere is a smart, skilled and versatile offensive player that uses his hockey sense and playmaking skills to dominate. Although he is the consensus top prospect for the upcoming draft, I believe the race is much more closer. As an overrager, Lafreniere has had this chance to showcase his talent at multiple levels, while most other draft eligibles have yet to receive as much media attention. Many players have showcased flashes of greatness in their own league, and honestly, Quentin Byfield, Lucas Raymond, and many others have all pretty decent chance of passing Lafreniere during the year. And that's no knock on Lafreniere. The 2020 NHL draft is simply loaded with talent, and one year away from the draft, everything could still change. Needs only one prospect to go off in their respective league, and they will be rising to the top. This will be a pretty interesting battle, but at the moment, Lafreniere is future conservation number one prospect. Thank you for watching. I'd love to hear your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe for more NHL draft related videos and click here to watch my other scouting report. I'll see you for the next one.